All right, for this one here, uh, exponential models. It says, some real life quantities increase or decrease by 6% each year or some other time period. The amount y of such a quantity after two years can be modeled by one of these equations. So they are both actually in the same form. They are both in the form y equals a times b raised to the x power. But you notice that b is taken over by one plus r and one minus r. So a is still going to be my initial value. So if we didn't reference that anywhere here, let's make sure. So note that a is the initial value. Let's call that the initial amount. Okay. R is the percent increase or decrease or decrease written as a decimal. The quantity 1 plus R is the growth factor and this would be the growth factor because it's 1 plus R which means it's getting bigger. Therefore 1 minus R is our decay factor. So notice a is your initial amount, 1 plus r, 1 minus r, that is going to be your growth factor here and your decay factor. T is time, okay? So those are two equations. So keywords when you're doing a growth model, you know, appreciate, grow, something that increases, something that's talk about getting bigger. Uh, getting smaller is exponential decay, uh, decrease, depreciate, and so on. All right, so first example says solving a real life problem. Okay, so the value of a car Y in thousands of dollars can be approximated by the model right here, where T is the number of years since the car was new. So Y equals 25, parentheses 0 0.85, raised to the T power. And just remember that 25 is in thousands. So tell whether the model represents exponential growth or decay. So in order to do this, we're gonna figure out um, what the B value is. So in this case, the B value is right here, which is 0 0.85. That number falls between zero and one, which means it is decay. So it's exponential decay. Uh, part B says, identify the annual percent increase or decrease in the value of the car. So since we figured out that this was decrease, uh, decay, then remember we had the Y equals A one minus R raised to the T power. Well, I'm going to use this 1 minus r inside because this b value is the same thing as 1 minus r. So I can say 1 minus r equals 0 0.85, and I can just solve for r. Negative 0.15 divided by negative 1. And we get that r is equal to 0.15. But since this is a percent, we're going to make that r is equal to, we move the decimal 2 to the right, and that becomes 15 percent. So really, in essence, um, it's the distance that this number is from 1. So what I'm saying is 0.85 is 0.15 from 1, which becomes 15 percent. Whether it goes up or down, it's going to be a positive number. So that was 15 percent. All right, part C says, estimate when the value of the car will be $8,000. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take $8,000 and we're going to substitute it into this problem where it should go. So here, y equals this whole thing, um, $8,000. So the value of a car y can be approximated. So 8,000 equals, um, in this case, um, this is not a 25, it's 25,000. So, so 8,000 equals 25,000 parentheses 0 0.85 raised to the t power. Um, from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by 25,000. And let's just reduce this real quick. So this will become eight over 25 equals 0 0.85 raised to the t power. Now, sorry, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a calculator to figure this out because we haven't learned any algebraic methods to solve this yet. We will later, but right now, we're gonna write, rely on a calculator. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the uh, Desmos real quick here. All 
All right, so I have the, uh, let's see if you can see this, the Desmos app right here. Um, so it's right there. And what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do, so let me see if I can show you. So right here, I have eight over 25. So in the first line here, I'm gonna put Y equals eight over 25. And then I'm gonna go to the next one. So we can see a red line has appeared right there. So y equals eight over 25. The right side of the equation is 0 0.85 raised to the t power. So parentheses, 0 0.85, close parentheses, raised to the, I don't really know how to make that. Um, so we're gonna change this to an x for t. <clears throat> and then we're done, okay. So now, what we can see here is the graph intersects. So we see a little dot that just formed. So let me zoom that in a tad bit right there. So if I tap it, you can see the little dot right there. If I tap it again, it actually gives me a value. So I'm looking at the X value. You see that 7 point, oh, sorry, 7.011. That is actually the amount of time it will take for um, the situation to happen. So the question says, estimate when the value of the car will be $8,000. So we're looking for time here. So what this tells me is when these two intersect, that it will take approximately seven years for the car to depreciate down to $8,000. So let me take this now. <clears throat> so T is an approximately 7.01 years. Now, if you had a TI Inspire calculator, um, let me show you what that would look like here real quick. So the same thing, I would type in 8 over 25. Um, you could hit enter and tab. And then you type in parentheses 0 0.85, close parentheses, raised to the x power, enter. And here it's a little bit different because you can't just tap on it to get it. Um, so I'm just showing you what happens here. There's an intersection happening here. So I'm going to do menu 6. Four, to the left and to the right we can see right there the x value oh sorry let me redo that sorry real quick let me just do that real quick all right so let's try that again um f1 so control divide 8 over 25 let's make sure that is it yes um hit enter uh press tab Parentheses 0 0.85, close parentheses raised to the x power, and I can enter. Um, what you notice is there is an intersection happening, it looks like right there. So to do that, menu 6, 4. So to the left of the intersection, move it over till it says the word intersection. And you can see right there, my x value is still 7.01, which is approximately 7.01 years.